Hey, what's up 2K culture? It's your boy Indy 2K, all day, every day, in the house, in the place to be. Coming back at you with another Martin Banger. And tonight, guys, I'm really excited to say we have the Ironclad set in front of us. And there is some Ironclad Defenders in this set. And before we start this video, let's take a look at the pack odds real quick, even though they are scary bad. So you only have a 2.2% chance of getting a 92 plus rated player. And you have a less than 1% chance at getting a 95 plus rated player. Boy, those are some scary, bad, god awful, terrible odds. And before we start this video, let's take a look at exactly who's in this set. What's all the hype about? And as you can see, all the hype is about my boy, Michael Air Jeffrey Jordan, the one and only undisputed GOAT, and my favorite player of all time. And who's right by his side? None other than his dynamic duo, Scottie Pippen. And then you also have 96 overall Gary Payton. Talk about some ironclad lockdown defenders. That's what all the hype is about. And guys, you know how much I love Michael Air Jeffrey Jordan. He's not only the GOAT, but he's my favorite player of all time. And you know how I feel about always keeping him side by side with Scottie Pippen and running those two together. So I'll be real happy if I can get either one and then eventually save up enough MT to get his counterpart and his running mate. The other three cards that are in this set that are causing some stir are 94 overall diamond CP3, Dwight Howard, and Chet. I would absolutely love to land Chet or Dwight Howard. I'll be completely happy with landing either two of those big men. Even though I already have Wilt Chamberlain, one of these two bigs could definitely most certainly make it on my team and come off the bench for Wilt. So I would love to get either one. I hear that Chet is amazing. And then, there's a bunch of budget cards in this set. You got the Kembe Matembo, who I wouldn't mind running on my team. You got Maurice Cheeks, and also Tyson Chandler, who I think is also going to be an ironclad lockdown defender and a really good budget card. And John Starks, oh my god. As a New York Knicks fan, I would love to get John Starks. They did John Starks motherfucking dirty, only giving him a player rating of an 80 and making him an emerald. They could have at least made him an 89 Ruby for sure. That guy was an ironclad lockdown defender. Back in the days when John Starks was on fire, nobody could stop him. That's going to be a great budget card. You also got Marcus Candy, Andrew Bogut, and Pat Beverly in this set. So there's a bunch of great ironclad lockdown defenders in this set. You really can't go wrong getting anyone from this set. With all that said, let's jump into this video. It's been a while since I ripped packs and I am ready to do this. We're here to defy those odds and we're here to hope for the best and stay positive. And at the very least, this is going to turn out to be more MT that I can farm and that I can add to that 387,000 MT that I already have stacked up. Because believe me, if I can't get Michael, if I can't get Scottie Pippen here tonight, you'll see me back here in a couple of days ripping some more 20 packs, ripping some more deluxe boxes until I either get my player or until I farm my way to a million MT and I can buy them from the auction house. With all that said, let's do this guys, let's get it. Okay, box number one. Oh my god. Talk about being like absolutely so, so nervous right now and anxious. Get the fuck out of here. There goes all of that anxiety right out the window. We got a shake on the very first pack. This could be a really good juiced up box. Hopefully this box is on motherfucking steroids. Hopefully it's on PEDs. I'm too excited to bullshit around. Let's just flip this bitch over and see who this hoe is. Oh my god, it's a diamond right off the bat. 2K did not fucking hold me out. And they did not fucking jerk me off. And they definitely didn't play me. Because on this very first box, on this very first pack, we got the sexy shake. We got that girl dancing up on stage. She's doing the sexy shake, and guys, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna enjoy this girl on stage shaking her stuff. Because who knows when's the next time I'm gonna see this shake, this electric spark and glow. That's how fucking rare and scarce diamonds and pink diamonds have become. That I'm over here busting a stubboner and careening in my pants over a fucking diamond shake. I never thought I was gonna say that. But boy, here I am, fucking excited to see this girl up on stage doing her sexy shake. Now let's flip this card over and see if this girl looks as good as she does from the back. Well, I'm so excited, I can't wait to see who it is. Even if it's CP3, it'll be MC. 
Okay, Western 95. It's CP3. It's CP3. I know it. Yep. It's all good. I don't mind. I might even run this card for a little bit just to test them out because my PG1 is Tony Parker. So he may actually make the team for just a little bit until I put him in the auction house because he's definitely going to eventually end up in the auction house. He's going to help me farm MC towards getting Michael Jordan or Scottie Pippen. Okay, but that's a great first pack. That's amazing. Oh my God, can you imagine we get another diamond in this box? We do have 18 cards to go. Okay, a third of a way. We are getting cards from the set, so that's also a bonus because people are always looking to buy cards from the set in the auction house. Oh, this is looking like a sapphire. Yeah, two garbage ass cards. I've seen that Kylie Irving card like 50 hundred times already. A gold card, that's pure crap, that's worthless. Six cards in, nothing. Another worthless ass card, more shit on a stick. I wish that I could at least get cards from the set because those cards are worth something. And if I get enough cards from the set, who knows, I may try locking in for that 95 plus pack. Matter of fact, if I could complete the set, I would definitely lock in for that 95 plus pack. No matter how shitty these cards are. No fucking way. Get the fuck out of here. I cannot believe how excited I am. I cannot believe how hyped I am. I am fucking completely addicted and hooked right now. I'm hooked. If this could please be another diamond, I'll gladly rip packs until the end of this game. Please, just give me another diamond, and one that I don't have, one that I could add to my collection, one that makes my... Oh, it's another diamond. Fuck yes. I can't fucking believe this. Two fucking diamonds in one box in the very first motherfucking box. I don't even care if this is CP3. If it's CP3, guess what? Great. Now I have one to put into the auction house, and I have one that I could run for a little bit longer. That's fucking awesome. Let's see who it is. I would love it if it's Chet, though. I would love it if it's Chet. Come on, Chet. Weston. Rebound. Oh, it's got to be Dwight Howard. It's got to be Dwight Howard. Chet isn't a rebound. I'm like, yes, it's Howard. That's also good. Because guess what? I have Wilt Chamberlain, and now Dwight Howard could possibly be my center off the bench for a little bit. And guess what? If I end up not liking him... I could put him into the auction house when he gains value, and it's going to help me reach my goal of getting Michael Jeffrey Jordan, the GOAT. I can't fucking believe this. Fucking two diamonds, not even halfway into this box. These boxes are fucking juice. I'm telling you, they're on PDs, they're on steroids. Like King James is. Okay, we're halfway through the box. If we can get one more fucking diamond out of this box, my gosh, I'll be a pack addict for life. I'll tell you that ripping packs is the best way to fucking farm MC. But all jokes aside, ripping packs is not only the best way to farm MC, it's pretty much the only choice and option you have at this point. It's the best way to farm MC. And it's the quickest way to farm MC. You're not going to be able to farm MT any quicker than ripping packs. As you've seen, I just got two diamonds in my first box. To earn 100,000 MT, you're going to be grinding and playing the game and sweating it out all week just for 100,000 MT. And you know what that leads to? That leads to you getting nothing good out of the player market, and that leads to you just being frustrated with the fucking game. That leads to you staring at the auction house for four hours a day, begging, hoping, praying that you can get something out of that fucking auction house at a good deal, that you could snipe something. Well, guess what? That's not me. I don't want to be staring at that fucking auction house for four hours a day. I want to play the actual game, and I want to actually get better at it. Okay, that was another card from the set, so more MC. Any card from the set that's not a diamond or a pink diamond, I'm going to put up for sale in the auction house, unless I'm really, really close into locking in for that set. Ooh, pack 14. Oh, sweet. A gem of the game card. Those cards always fetch good money in the auction house. So as you can see, this is a great way to farm some MT, guys. You can't waste your life away grinding this game. I'd rather go to work for two hours, earn some fucking bread in my pocket, 
And then just come home and rip some packs and earn some MT the easy way. Not the fucking boring ass way grinding out the breakout board or domination or fucking staring at this auction house screen for fucking four hours a day hoping that no one's going to outbid you on a card. Oh my god, another gem of the game card? Omeka Okafer? You know people are going to go crazy for this card. There's going to be a lot of value in that card. The other day I got Cliff Robinson and I got 91,000 MT for a fucking gem of the games, 91 overall Cliff Robinson. So those gem of the game cards have a ton of value and so does any card from the set. This was a great first box. I hope all the other boxes continue to look this good. Please 2K, please I beg of you, let the other boxes continue looking this good. Oh man, another card from the set, Casey Jones, that's great. I wish these boxes had like a guaranteed topper, that would be awesome, but they don't. Instead, I got another gem of the game, which is as good as a topper. And you know what I say, I like my boxes the way I like my women, with a good topper. And this box just gave me a little bit of topping. Okay, let's add all of this to my auction house. Okay, so I just got done sending all the players to the auction house, and it's time to rip box number two. Hopefully this box is looking just as sexy as that first box. Hopefully it's just as juiced up. Oh my god, I can't believe I got two of the...